Hi, so today I'm going to show you how to insert some geometric shapes into a Word document. There are a number of different options for this, so the first thing I'm going to do is just to show you how to insert a simple shape into a document that has text and how you can make the text wrap around that object or go through the object or put the object behind the text. In addition to that, I'm also going to show you how to insert the variety of different geometric shapes from simple triangles, circles, and also some 3D shapes as well, which can also be done in a variety of different ways. So let's get started. As you can see, my default document is set up with just a simple text paragraph. The first thing I want to do is to go up to the Insert tab and click on this icon here that says Shapes. And here you'll see a drop-down arrow and here you can see you have a number of different options, all with numerous different shapes, including the geometric shapes that we will be inserting today. This icon here, although it is a, a rectangle, you can also make a square from it. This is an oval, but you can make a circle from it. And although this is a triangle that you can pull and push, you can also make a perfect triangle with this as well. And I'll go ahead and show you how to do that later. So let's go ahead and just insert a simple shape into our document. So don't worry about where you insert this particular shape because we can move it around and place it wherever we need to. So if I just click and drag and make a simple rectangle, you can see that it's been converted into a shape and this icon up here has appeared, shape format and the shape itself has gone over the top of the text. If I click off the shape, you can see that that shape format icon disappears at the top. If we want it to reappear, we simply click on our shape and it reappears, giving us a variety of different options at the top here. So the first thing we need to do is to tell Word how we want this shape to appear in our document. And that all happens with this icon up here, wrap text. If you go to the drop down arrow here, you'll see we have a variety of different options. The most popular tends to be this option here, which is called tight. If you click on that, you can now see that your words will just simply wrap themselves around the shape. Then if we click on the shape and we move it, you can see how the text will move around the shape depending on where you put it. In addition to that, if we go back up to wrap text, you also have the option top and bottom. And what this will do is to put the text at the top and the bottom of your shape. And once again, once I move my shape, you can see how the text moves up and down according to where I want to place my object. In addition to that, we've also got behind text, which will mean that your shape will appear behind your writing. And again, in front of text, which is where we started, which you can simply put your shape on your text. It may mean that you want to actually see the text through this. And in order to do that, if I just close this down and show you how this appears. If I double click on my shape, this drop down menu will appear on the right hand side and you can simply go to transparency and move that slider and it will make your shape transparent where you can see the text through your shape. Okay, so now we've inserted a rectangle, I'll go ahead and show you how to insert the remainder of the geometric shapes that you may well need for your document. So go back up to insert, click on the shapes drop down, and we're going to make a square. Now ordinarily, if I just click and drag, we're going to make a rectangle. If I hit the shift key, then we begin to make a perfect square. And exactly the same happens if we insert a circle. By default, we'll make an oval shape. But if we go to the shape again, click and drag and hit the shift key, and you can see we then make a perfect circle. Once again, with all of these shapes, you can go back up to wrap text and move them around your document. 
Now, if you find that they're a bit clunky where they don't move or where you try and pull and push them and they skip back to where they originated, then just again, go up to wrap, wrap text and click on tight here and you'll be able to move your shape around your document wherever you need to. Okay, and let's just keep going. We've got a triangle here, click and drag. Once again, you can see the triangle change. And then if we want to make a perfect triangle, and again, if we go up to the triangle shape, click and drag and hit the shift key, then you'll find the triangle will have equal sides. Now, in addition to that, there are some additional shapes here. I can go through all of these very quickly. But again, it's a case of just clicking on the particular shape, dragging to the size you want. And if you want perfect sides and equal sides, you just hit the shift key and Word will correct it for you. So I'll just go through them and speed up the video just so that you get the idea. Okay. So in addition to these 2D shapes, we've also got a selection of 3D shapes. Again, if I go up to the Insert tab, and you can see there are a couple of shapes here. This is the cone shape. Again, we click and drag. And don't forget, on all of these icons, you'll be presented with this circular icon at the top, where you can simply rotate your shape to suit your needs. In addition to this, we've also got a 3D box. Again, hit the shift key and you'll get a perfect square. But what we also have with regards to these 3D shapes, if you go up to the insert tab and you go to, along to this icon here, 3D models, click the drop down and click from online sources. Then you'll be presented with this drop down menu on the right hand side. If you further go down, then you'll see here you presented with 3D shapes. And here you have quite a few options to choose from, depending on which shape you're looking for. So again, you just click on a shape, click insert, and your shape will be inserted. And then this icon in the center here just allows you to move around that 3D shape and if I just click and drag you can see how I can move that 3D shape again to suit your needs. Now having looked for it at the moment I can't find a way to change the color of this 3D shape only to select a different color in this selection. So if you wanted a blue one, then the blue one's here. Or if you wanted a gray one, then you can go ahead and select a gray one. But at the moment, all I can find is actually how to format the background. So if I double click on this shape here, then in this menu that comes up, you can simply click on solid fill and choose a different color, whichever color you want to and it will just change the background. It won't change the color of the actual uh, shape. So just click no fill. And then we'll just pop that down there. And once again, it's exactly the same applies. If you need to move this around and it's not moving around your document, then again, just simply go up to the wrap text icon. Just make sure you're on the tab for the particular shape you're talking about. This one is 3D model, but if I obviously click on this shape here, it changes to shape format and go along to the wrap text. If you need to label your shapes, the easiest way to do that is to simply insert a text box. So go along to text box, draw text box, click and drag. Name your shape. And then again, you can move this to where you want it. You want to get rid of the background and the lines. If I click off, I've got a background and I've got a border. If I want to get rid of that, go to shape format, make sure the text box is highlighted. 
go to shape fill and click no fill, go to shape outline and click no outline. And then again, you can move this around. You can move it inside your circle if you want to, or you can simply move it to the bottom. Then you can use your arrow keys to make sure that that word's exactly where you want it. In addition to that, don't forget, you can also change the color of all of these shapes. So if you click on the shape, if this menu doesn't appear, which I'll show you now, if I double click on my shape, the menu will appear. And then you have a number of options in here. You'll be presented with fill and line. Fill is the center. So if you go to solid fill here and go down to color, then this gives you a variety of different colors that allows you to change the color of your shape. If the color of your shape doesn't appear there, then if you just go to more colors and you'll be presented with the color wheel. And there you can just simply move this little circle around and select the color of your choice. It will appear in this box here, click OK, and then you'll get the color that you choose. If you want to change the borderline at the moment, you can just about see we've got a borderline running around the outside, which is blue. If you don't want that line, you click no line. If you'd like another line, then again, you go down to color, click on the color of your choice. I'm picking some really interesting colors here. So it's just for demonstration purposes. And then you can also change the width of that. So if you click the up arrow, then you can see that my border is now increasing in size, depending on what I want. And then again, you can go and play around with all these different icons. This gives you a squiggly line. So if you want a slightly more drawn effect, a slightly more hand-drawn effect, then you can just click on these lines and it will give you a variety of different options. So that's just a short video to show you how to insert a variety of different geometric shapes, including some 3D shapes. I hope it's helped. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.